for St. Mary's, we'll have head coach Randy Bennett, Matthew Della Vadova, and Rob Jones. First, Matthew, if you could talk about the keys to the game tonight. Um, I mean, uh, they can score a lot of points, so the first thing was defensively, um, stopping their bigs inside, which I think our bigs did a great job. And then, uh, obviously, their guards can shoot, shoot the ball well. Um, so uh, we wanted to stop that, and uh, on offense, just take care of the ball um, and get good shots. Rob, can you talk about sweeping the regular season and conference tournament titles? Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's a tremendous thing for our program. Uh, I mean, uh, coming in, uh, playing a, as a San Diego Torero, uh, Gonzaga was always on top, and uh, they, they always had it clinched. But uh, b to be here as a Gale now and uh, outright, outright win the uh, conference and the tournament, is a, it's a beautiful thing, and uh, I'm glad I'm here. Questions for the student athletes? If you could raise your hand, name and affiliation, please. Jake Palmer, Gonzaga, both Rob, can you talk about your matchup with Elias today? Uh, you know, uh, my matchup with Elias is always a tough one. He's a great player, uh, tremendous competitor. Uh, you know, uh, it, I mean, it just came down to a couple plays today. And, uh, I mean, I wish him the best of luck in the rest of his career. Uh, but uh, I'm glad we won today. Yep. Matthew, you, you guarded Bengos, and he had a tough night. You started off all right. What were you trying to do with him, and did you sense any frustration? Uh, well, he's, he's a great player, and he, he went off for 30 the night before, so uh, we knew that was uh, going to be a key to stop him. Um, <clears throat> I think it was two from two to start, and I was, I was like, I need to lock in and guard him a bit better. Um, but just uh, you can't let him get free uh, for any threes because he's, he's a big-time shooter. Um, but, yeah, he's a great player, and I'm sure he'll have a really good career. Steve? Matthew, you talked about the play late regulation where you and uh, Angus were going for the loose ball by the scores table, and you were able to uh, get to it first and run a foul. Uh, it seemed like it was a critical play in this game. Um, uh, yeah, well, uh, I mean, I saw the ball there, and uh, it just bounced off, and I knew he was coming for it. Um, so I was just trying to run as fast as I could to get it and uh, just get my like body in front of it. So. Probably a bit of that goes back to playing uh, Australian rules footy when I was younger, <laughs> loose ball like that. So um, I was, yeah, just pretty happy. I, they called the foul on him because um, I guess it could have gone either way. Excuse me, what was the game you played in Australia? As a kid? Australian, rules oh, Australian rules football. Yeah, so that helped out. Jason? For either of you guys, how tough was it to stay composed when overtime was forced there and trying to turn the momentum on that game? I mean, uh, it was obviously a big shot, and uh, I guess it takes the wind out of yourselves a bit, especially when we, I guess we kind of had it um, within reach. Um, but we, uh, we regrouped and uh, got some stops uh, in overtime which uh, I think once we got a couple of stops, then we sort of started getting going again. Uh, I, I agree with Matt. You know, uh, uh, it was a great shot, tough shot hit by Elias. And uh, but uh, when I think after that, I think we knew we're still the, uh, we're still a tougher team. And uh, I think uh, we just came out and just kept kept competing and playing basketball. And in the end, uh, we got it done. Uh how we saw some of the news. And then I noticed after uh, you guys all tournament award, you, you went out of your way to track down Bangos and said something. What did you say and why did you do that? Um, I just said good luck uh, in the tournament. Um, uh, he's a really good player and seems like a good guy. So, um, yeah, I uh, hope they go well in the tournament. Two more for the student athletes. Thank you, Steve. You know, obviously enjoyed the, the post game celebration, but you seem very reserved at the, the whistle. In case the job's not done yet, but it's just a step on the path to somewhere else. Um, I mean, I was, I'm pretty happy about it, uh, and I guess just a bit of bit of relief that we finally uh, got it done in the end. Um, but we'll we'll enjoy this. But once we get back to Moraga, um, we'll start to work. Uh, focus and work hard again uh, to get ready for the tournament. Uh, because we want to do some things there. Steve, final question. <clears throat> For both players, did you feel the day off helped uh, give, I don't know, you guys had more energy? Did you sense on the court that everybody had a little higher energy level tonight than they would have in the last couple of years? 
in, in the setting? Are you like uh, attributing that to the day off? Is that what you're talking yeah. about? Uh, you know, uh, I think it's a. Uh, I think uh, it's hard to say because it's a big games championship game. It's the, it's the granny as our deli calls it, the <laughs> granny. But uh, I think I, I think both teams are great competitive teams, and uh, we, uh, we 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 either way would have come out and played hard because uh, we both wanted it. So <laughs> I think uh, it's nice to have the day off, but I think I don't think it uh, made that much of a difference. Uh, oh, go ahead, Matt. Uh, um, yeah, I'd say I definitely enjoyed the day off. Um, allowed a chance to like recover a bit more, get some ice bars in. So I, I think it was good. Coach B, you enjoy the ice bath? Absolutely, it really helped my legs. <laughs> <laughs> he was in there with us. <laughs> Student yeah, athletes, your thumb up. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Coach Bennett, if you could, an opening statement on the tournament win. Hey guys. <laughs> Please do. They laughed me the other night. Uh, you know, it was just part, fun to be part of a game that was that quality of a basketball game. That was a heck of a game. And uh, the the stars showed up tonight. Like, the big players played well and both teams. So it was, yeah, it was fun. And it's, uh, it was... <laughs> It's a little, little too exciting down there, the, down the stretch. I wish we would have uh, handled some things better as far as uh, just fouling and uh, not and hanging on the ball. And, you know, I made some mistakes on that, but our guys did a great job. I was really pleased with. They, we have great leadership. Those guys who just left are tremendous leaders. And uh, people ask, you know, what, what do we say after they hit that shot? <coughs> we didn't say anything. Like we were, it was. Good defense. They had a tough shot. Let's let's play, and uh, that's what's nice about that team. Yeah, our team. It was we don't. I don't have to coach leadership. The leadership's there, and they do a tremendous job of it. Questions for Randy? Randy, can you talk for three years now about Matt, his leadership, his talent. But today it seemed like, geez, for a while there, when Gonzaga was building momentum, the crowd was getting more and more into it every time Gonzaga made a shot. It was, a stretch there, he came right back to score. Can you just talk about his impact on the game and his kind of courage, for lack of a better term? Yeah, he's got it. He's got it all. I've, I've hit it about every way I can. He's about as – I don't know if I would coach a guy as good a leader as him. And uh, he studies it. He cares about it. He knows. He knows in a game like this, he's supposed to step up. And uh, and he did. And Rob, Rob knows too. So we played a really good team. And our guys just got it done, bottom line. It's, uh, they're, those two teams are very even, but uh, tonight we came out on top, and we, we wouldn't have had we not had Delhi not played the way he did and Rob played the way he did, and freshman Waldo played really well, and Jordy Page played well. So a lot of guys had to step up. They had their big guns stepped up too. Pangos had an off night, but Harris was tremendous, and Zachary played well. So... Like I said, it's fun to be part of a game like that, and it's, it makes it really fun when you win. Chip? Uh, Dell would his defense. He, he had him on Pangos most of the night. Dell is a good defender, and uh, <coughs> Pangos had a really good night the other night. Pangos hurt us up at Gonzaga, so we, we knew he could do that. And uh, Matt's very – his basketball IQ is way up there, so he, he had a pretty good idea on how to guard him. Now, Pangos missed some shots that he, he doesn't go one for ten very often. And uh, so we got a little bit of a break there. But Matt did a good job making him take uh, tough shots. So did some others. Steinle ended up on him some. And uh, our post help rotate over when he's trying to drive it. He's a tough cover. He's a great freshman. And uh, had had Matt not done as well a job, as had he not done as good a job as he did, we wouldn't be sitting here on the winner's side. Randy, you've obviously had a great program for a long time now. But to get both the regular season championship the tournament championship, is this a little more special? Is this a, another step? <coughs> Absolutely. It's uh, to get both. I, the, the regular season title was uh, – we wanted we wanted that one. We had a chance to get it last year, and we didn't get it done. Um, we got we shared the title. And then this year, we, we remembered all that stuff. And we had the, the injury to hold – which was unfortunate, but our guys rallied up. It wasn't looking too good there after we had to go to Murray State and we lost to LMU and then Murray State. And our guys bowed up and 
got it done on the road at Portland and then at San Francisco. I've said this a couple times now. I, I've never seen our our team of the teams I've coached more focused for a weekend of games than they were for that. And that's when I already knew they were special, but I was impressed by their leadership and their, their determination. They did not want to uh, share that title. So on that note, everybody wants, yes, it's special to win them both. I think they're two separate things. Uh, this one's special mostly because you get the automatic bid, but it's a tournament. It's another championship. It's something that you, that uh, these guys will remember. They're the only team in St. Mary's history who's won the conference outright and won the conference tournament. So they, they continue to find little challenges. Um, it's not – everybody wants to make it a – like Zachary's quote, they hate us, we hate them. I really don't feel that from our side. Yes, it's a it's a rivalry, only because we've gotten good enough where we can beat them sometimes. And uh, that's what makes it a rivalry. But we, see, we have a ton of respect for their program. It's never, at least from our end, I don't think from theirs either, I don't think it's ever the anti-Gonzaga thing. It's It's more... We want to be champions too, and we pay the price, and well, why can't it be us? And, but it takes time, and they have, I mean, I don't know if anybody's done a better job running their program for the past 11 years than them. And uh, so we're chasing a pretty pretty high bar. And uh, we've been able to continue to hang in there. I think the last five years has been pretty close. They have had, definitely had the upper hand. And so it's nice to finally say, hey, for this year, we did have the upper hand. But next year will be next year. And it, I think both teams will be pretty good again. Steve? Hey, Brady. What, what do you take from tonight, the way your kids hung in there and formed that will help you next week in the NCAA tournaments? Because every group is different, every tournament, every NCAA is different. What do you think? You take from here tonight that'll help, uh, and you're going to add Holt, hopefully. What, what do you take from tonight, the way your kids form? And we haven't played many close games. And so I think you get confidence playing in co close games by having success in close games. And we, we probably had three all year. And so our backs were against the wall. We had some adversity. We had the game won, and then they hit the – hit the shot, put it in overtime. All those things are things you can't practice those. Like, I can't simulate that in practice. It's a, a game experience. You have to go through it. There's emotions. There's uh, confidence issues and all that stuff. So I think what we take away from it is I think our guys will be even more resilient and tougher and harder to beat. So I think that's where all that stuff helps. Just like winning helps you, if you, you win a lot, you're not used to losing, and you'll win some games just because you're used to winning. Final question for Randy, Jason. Randy, there, there's some young point guards in this league, like Kevin and Gonzaga, BYU's got one. And there's probably the thought that those guys could learn something by watching Delhi, but can you speak to how much is that's a unique kid and how much is learned maybe over the college experience? <clears throat> I can, but... I don't know if I can put it in words. I, 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 we just know he's special. We laugh about it all the time. Uh, he is – I think he's got the highest basketball IQ of any guy I've coached. Uh, McConnell's is way up there. I think he's uh, – leadership-wise, nobody's, nobody's better. And we kind of knew this before. But it's now it's kind of he and he and Rob's team and they're he he's smart enough and why he's he's wise he didn't try and just come in here as a freshman he knew how to lead when he came in here but he he waited till it was his turn last year is he helped as a freshman leadership wise but we couldn't really say hey Delhi this is your team lead it it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have gone down that well. We had Sam Han and McConnell, and those guys were in leadership positions. They're older, but he knew he knew when it was his time. And last year was his time. And Mickey had a tremendous year and was really good. But behind the scenes, Del Vado was huge. He was key to us. This year, 
everybody knows now. <laughs> the secret's out. And, uh, you know, I don't know why he's the way he is. He is, though. His parents did a heck of a job raising him. He studies it. Really, He's a bright kid. Maybe one of the nicest things, nicest awards he had is uh, being first-team academic All-American. That's hard to do, and the players that are on that list are tremendous players. So he's, uh, that's what makes him special is, is competitiveness and his leadership. He's uh, certainly not his jumping ability. Thank you, Randy. Yep, thanks.